Life, a show sometimes about golf, episode 112, 13. I don't know. It's two years in the making. We're here. Mm-hmm. That's Chris McKay. I don't know why you need to do the episode number anyways. Just say welcome to the show. I, I don't know. It's, you know. It's in the title. Don't start with me. It's Nobody hard cares. because we do it. Who cares, Bill? They don't. They don't. <laughs> I'm with you, but especially now with the podcast, the, the numbers are all exactly, off. Just welcome exactly. people to the show. It's so hard. It's so hard to open. <laughs> Opening and closing the show are so fucking hard <laughs> <laughs> every week. Uh, We've been doing this thing for. I'm, I'm scrolling up to the top of our Google Doc for a hundred. And I'm going to say roughly 115 weeks. Probably, yeah. What's wrong with us is my first question. Yeah. But here we are. Anyway, that's Chris McEwen. I'm Bill Bush. Driving Joe's. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Chris McEwen. Happy to be with you. Um, all right. I'm going to dive right into it. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do the call to action because we got a lot to get through. Yeah, yeah. You know the call Everyone to action. just do the stuff. Do you the guys stuff. know the rules. You know it. Yeah. You know it. If you're yeah. new here, thank you. But just do yes, the welcome. usual stuff. Every YouTube video watch, we all ask the same thing. Please do it. Yeah. Chris, the mice saga continues. Um, the mice saga or the mice saga? Both. Okay. The mice. Mice. Okay. The little rodents saga right. continues. <laughs> so the family's in Wisconsin for their the start of spring break. They left without okay. me and Sarah goes to me, Bill. Can you get an oil change on a Toyota Sienna SE van before we leave? Mm-hmm. I said, yes, absolutely. Oh, so no. I get that done on Friday. We're recording on Sunday. Mm-hmm. They leave Saturday morning after Madeline's dance. Okay. Okay. I get a text message roughly 345 in the afternoon. Hey, just did your complimentary point to point inspection. You're cabin filter has clearly been chewed by a rodent and sarah said yeah. i've suspected we've had mice in the car you know we've we, so we've like done all the like right. internetting mice deterrent in the car yeah and uh something has been chewing at your air filter really bad would you like us to replace it I said sure go ahead and replace it so i go pick up the car and they're like we actually saved it it was so bad and kind of gross just to show you <laughs> and i go whoa, whoa, whoa i don't want to see this just tell me it happened i respect that right good enough i don't need to see it's too depressing so that cost me an extra like 90 dollars or whatever i don't know <laughs> at i thought i was getting like a side note it's gonna. Have, I admittedly, I have full synthetic oil in the mm-hmm, van. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it's a ninety dollar mm-hmm. oil change. Yeah, yeah. And someone might go, "You could just do that yourself. It'll be nice and easy." Which maybe they're not wrong. No, no, no. Garages are made for golf YouTube shows. I don't have and only. I have golf YouTube shows. Zero interest. Zero, zero interest in changing the oil of my car. So <laughs> if it cost me ninety bucks to do an oil change. It's a scam. Yeah, but that's what it costs. That's what it costs. But I'm going to pay it. Right. If you right. tell me it's 140, okay, I'm going to do it. What's the what's the price where you're like I'm doing it myself? What's it got to be? Where's your threshold? $7,000. <laughs> <laughs> like I've I have which Good to know. so I need to replace the uh the backup camera in my car got like moisture inside of it and never went away. And I looked oh, into how to sucks. do it, and it's it's something like if I brought it in, it's probably a thirteen hundred dollar repair. Yeah, it literally just because it's annoying, tedious work. It's not hard per se, but I have zero interest um, in paying someone to do this. I'm like, it's a hundred dollar piece of equipment. I'll just replace it myself. But that's gonna be a lot of work. Now that I'll do on my own because it seems absurd. But an oil change. <laughs> Uh, that'll be $2,722. Well, okay. I don't feel like doing it. Sure. Here you right. go. That's disgusting. <laughs> right. Right. God, right. owning homes, owning cars. The two dumb. Did I, um, your mouse story uh, reminded me of something. Did I ever tell you about my possum story? Here's the thing. You probably did. But we do, we talk about a lot and i might I for, i've forgotten so i don't me. know this may have been pre us okay uh 
I, w- I went and played golf. I'm guessing that this is when – well, actually, I have no idea. What oh, it's anyways. a golf possum story. I think it may have re- related to that, but I'll just get to the to the point of the story. And that is I used to park my car on the street. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the time, it was like a Dodge – something some four-door sedan or something i drive a dodge stratus it was a stratus that's what it was because that's what that was the joke i would always do that i drive a dodge stratus um so it was a dodge stratus parking on the street it's winter time or just around it was like right around now like this kind of cold but sometimes you get a, a thaw and a warmth right, whatever yep, yep. um and i was working uh in indiana at the time and so one morning i'm sorry I started my car as I from the city. I start my car up, and uh, I just all this just noise, all those kinds of all kinds of things go in from the under the hood. Just it goes crazy. Car doesn't start. I get it towed to a place. They send me an email like two and a half hours later. Um, a possum crawled into your car, and you started the car. So all that noise was the possum getting torn to pieces oh, no. under the car. Wait, wait, there's more. So they give me this description, right? To tell me what happened. I scroll. They included pictures without warning. Oh my God. Of the remnants of the possum. It was brutal. Like in, I'm in the office in an open area seating. And I like, I think I, I, I cursed out loud when I saw these pictures because they were so disturbing. It was so awful. They didn't give me any warning. Not like we can send pictures if you want, like your guys did or anything like, no, here they are included. And it was just this possum torn into like seven pieces and inside, and ba- inside my engine. I'm assuming it wasn't like, it was just beyond recognition. It was like, here's this chunk. Here's right. this chunk. Here's <laughs> this could, chunk. No, you could still tell God. that it was a possum. Uh, it was the most disgusting thing. What I think I was the, the thing that relates back to the golf course, what I think happened potentially, maybe because you don't see, I mean, it's a city we don't have possums running around. Um, but, I but that, ironically you do have cougars every now, like every three that's years, true. a that's fucking true. mountain lion that's true. Just shows up, <laughs> that is true, shows up in downtown Chicago, but you don't get possums. Remember the wolf? I think, wasn't there a wolf that was standing in the middle of Michigan Avenue during the lockdown? Was it like, really or was that like a Photoshop thing? I thought that really – I don't know. Maybe it was a photo. I thought that was a real thing though because there are uh, – there's wolves. Um, but anyways. <laughs> Turns out it was someone's husky. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Um, the day before that – and this is – I don't know. I, I don't think I could have survived maybe just by luck or something. Maybe it was on the t- – I don't know. But I did play golf at a forest preserve golf course. Yep. And so maybe that's how I transported this possum, and he was in the in the engines trying to stay warm, and then he got himself into a spot that you know. Well, and if I, I took if his if life with my uh, Dodge no, Stratus. Knowing so you, there's a certain element of guilt that sets in too, which you had. There's no reason to feel guilty. There's nothing mm-hmm. you could have done. You wouldn't have known, but right. at the right. same time. I can't believe I've done such a thing. You know, I yeah. I just I'll never be able to unsee those pictures. <laughs> it was just the worst thing ever. Anyways, <laughs> that's my that's my vermin in the engine story. So welcome to a show sometimes about <laughs> golf. Um, all right, let's get into the golf stuff. I don't. Uh, yeah, you you played a, a shit ton of golf. A shit apparently. ton. A shit ton. Um, the proverbial I, shit ton. First things first. I don't feel like we do this too often. The two of us. The uh, like. I don't want to say obligatory. Um, the shameless shout out. Look, look, all right, oh, right. I'm going to go back. Right. Chris, we are fortunate with what we quote unquote, what we do on the internet here with golf yeah. stuff. We right. get good opportunities to uh, experience golf in a way the average golfer does not. And part of that is okay. our relationships sure. with brands mm-hmm. for better or worse which I do have a worse story probably for off the camera, but like still <laughs> fired up about it. Poor intern. Grant. That's a, again, another uh, Patreon episode, Patreon episode for sure. Intern yeah. Grant probably had two holes worth of that story. He had, he had the nerve to ask me a perfectly innocent question. I'm like, well, right. well, right. let me tell you. Uh, um, but I have to give a special shout out to Brandon Wallach of true links Wear fame. So my favorite pair of shoes in my life these days is my pure black 
limited edition true knit twos from true mm-hmm. Linksworth. they're the best i got them like right after i got out of the hospital they were like my go-to i'm gonna go walking i'm gonna be healthier i, ra- I mean i ran in i i ran running <laughs> in these shoes which look at me running i You're ran right. in them those poor shoes those poor <laughs> shoes i'm with you and I finally hit a spell, uh, I don't know, two months ago where I went, these shoes are beat to shit. Mm-hmm. Can't can't go any further. I told Brandon Wallach, I'm like, here's the problem. You don't have as good as the True Knit 2 line is. These were the best. I love them. They were limited edition. You don't have mm-hmm. more of them. I don't. What am I going to replace them with? And he goes, Bill. If you were to send somebody an email at True Links Wear, I might be able to ask the warehouse to see if we have any laying around somewhere. It's like, you're a sweetheart, but I don't want to be that guy, you know? Right. right. So I'm like, I'm not going to take them up on it. And then one day, I, it might have been one of our videos even, like the uh, I was wearing them for the gear talks, a gear talk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, God, those things look busted. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I texted him like, all right, I think I'm like, I am going to take you up on this. He's like, yeah, no problem. Shoot me an email. Let me know what you need, whatever. So I'm sitting there minding my own business and I just get a text message. Your true links were order. And I, I, for the record, I told him I'll pay for them. I love these shoes. Yeah, sure. Like, I'm on. Right. I just want a pair of this shoe. I'll give my yeah. money's worth. I'll pay for them. I get a text message. It just shows up on my, you know, on my notifications on my screen your order's been processed for true the true links for true knit to pure blacks, whatever. Wow. And I go, I screenshot, I'm like, you found them? I I, I would have paid for him. And he's like, no, 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 no. Bill, I appreciate everything you do. You know, I'm I'm such a nice human. You're the I'm the best. <laughs> Here you go. Right. And I was like, man, what a guy. So I have a fresh new pair of true links where Pure black true knit twos, which you can't you can't get anymore unless you you know you're you're cool like me and you can get right, in right. right. Um, can't thank that brand and Brandon specifically enough for the support. It seems a little gratuitous as I spit it out on the show here, but what a guy! What a Deserving. guy! Really appreciate Deserving. it. It's about like yeah. God, what. Legends. And, you know, to be fair, uh, I mean, you're a sneaker psycho. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's well established. Uh, and you love them. And I'm not, but my I'm about to, you know, scrub up and clean up the uh, the my pair of Link Soul. True, Link true Soul. Links Wear. Link true Soul, Soul they, they do Yeah, partner they do up. the collaboration. By um, the way, the Link Soul, the current, there's a current pair, limited edition again. I'm yeah. having a hard time saying limited edition. You are. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. Reel it in, bro. Uh, <laughs> there's a Link Soul True Links Wear collaboration. Uh, their second one they've done of the True Knit 2 that looks awesome. And I told them, I said, I was thinking about buying them, but they just won't. They're not as good as a pure black that I have to have. And that's when he's like, I got you, bro. But yeah. I, I feel like I do need, I need, I do need to buy those ones, too. But the, yeah, the uh, the skeleton ones that I've got, the skeleton golfer, dead go- what is it? Dead golfer, the- yeah. Dead golfer, yeah. Uh, I mean, those are going to be the ones I'm taking on my trip. I'm not taking any other ones. How good are those shoes? They're so good. They're they're perfect. They really are. I saw a, a little tease of by them that some new colors are coming out with their in their shoes. I have to tell you, given this story I just told for the quick shout out. It has been very difficult for me to not text them. Like, please send me pictures. I need to know more <laughs> immediately. <laughs> yeah, because they don't give you much. They just give you like a little tiny, you know. Well, just it's a like, taste. what's it really going to change for me? Because they're going to announce them. I'm going to go. All right, fine. And I'll probably buy mm-hmm. two of the five or whatever. Right. Right. But I need to know right now. Right, <laughs> right. now. Or else. All right, let's talk about your golf. I played a lot of golf this week. You did play quite a bit of golf, which I'm surprised because it's not, it's miserable. I had plans for 54 holes this weekend. I was going to play 36 yesterday as we're recording. We're recording on a Sunday. Right. I was going to play, I'm sorry, 18 yesterday because it was terrible out. 
uh, windy, cold. It <sighs> snowed. It snowed Friday it snow. into Saturday, yeah. and it was yeah. measurable amounts of snow. Like there was white coverage. Right. And so I got. My family left for their little spring break they're doing um, after my daughter's dance. And I so I I tend to do the shuffling to dance specifically, mm-hmm. especially the pickups. Mm-hmm. And in those drives, I was calling around, <laughs> around the golf course going, you open, you open. Yeah. And uh, good old trusty St. Andrews in West Chicago is like, yeah, we're open. Um. I'm sorry. I had just got a bunch of texts from the Riv and Intern Grant. <laughs> okay, we'll see what they said. Um, St. Andrews is open. I'm gonna go play there. Great, excited to do so. Uh, mm-hmm. So I did 18 holes there yesterday by myself. A lot of first, a lot of interesting things from this round. I played 18 holes. I'm gonna say conservatively, conservatively, mm-hmm. two and a half hours realistically nice it was pro- wonderful it was probably 215 yeah and i could have That's shaved awesome, shaved some time off of it and, and like, by no means was i rushing i wasn't sprinting i wasn't like you know not taking my time on shots and i, I didn't play great largely because i showed up it was freezing ass cold because yeah, it was 25 degrees out and i will tell you psycho the wind no 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 no, no. it was I would tell you temperature wise, technically speaking, we're worse, but it was a much more playable day, I would say, than that week we had together a couple of weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but it was still, I mean, it was still below freezing. Uh, it was yeah, cold, man. Yeah, it was yeah. cold. It was easier playing. And there was no sun. It was easier playing yesterday in those conditions than that round we played together i swear to god i, I believe that i'm still that. miserable yeah. i mean it's still like right. it was literally snowing during my round right there was snow there was snow falling person. and i'd have to look up and like wipe my eyes just <laughs> constantly watering <laughs> right. right as snow fell um but i played pretty well i mean i'm not breaking i wasn't bringing any course records but um had a handful of bird like legit birdies I'll say mm-hmm. I had a handful of legit triple bogeys. That's fine. <laughs> um, but made in voyage with the Tour Edge C722 irons. Mm. Um, have have a lot of comments and things. We'll save it for a gear talk. Okay, good. But um, it's tough because they're they're. They're great irons, but being used to, you know, like my fancy players irons and my TA threes and my Muras and all that. It's a big change. It's a big change. Oh, but man, sure. They're nice clubs. Nice clubs. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Um, what else was notable? My clubs got trashed. I saw the picture of them. <laughs> you. Yeah. Because we've had a lot of moisture over the last few weeks and right. just mud city so like everything you hit was just a mud bath mud bath but as soon as you hit it it would freeze sand mud oh, you name it just freezes to the club so like at least like if you spit on it it's right 98.6 <laughs> degrees do, right and that'll give you you can clean it but just man took a beating in those conditions um but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I did do the uh, Ryan French, aka Monday Q Info trick. That guy is a rain pants uh, aficionado. I mean, I the I think every time I see Ryan, he's always wearing Foot Joy rain pants. <laughs> right. Always wearing rain pants. So uh, I'm like it's freezing, windy. You know what? Rain pants are are the move. Are the move. Yeah. So I just I said, well, I'm only going to wear these rain pants. No one has to know. I just wore sweatpants and nice. rain pants yeah. over them. I did yeah, it, yeah. I did that again today for the next 18 holes in my 36, 36 hole weekend. Okay. Got a little toasty today with the sun. A little bit of like wearing a garbage bag, but <laughs> shout out Ryan French. I went with the rain pants move. Yeah. Pro. I'm a pro. Um, Where... Where maybe you're about to get to it, but where which round did you have your your wedge shot? First round, 
So okay. and, and more miserable. So today, Grant. So I played with Grant today, intern Grant. Uh, and intern Grant had his. Uh, he was in New York for his birthday this past week. Mm-hmm. So he came home Friday, Saturday. They had the intern Grant birthday party. They called him intern Grant, which, by the way, that did play. <laughs> I said, reminder, we call him intern Grant. And they're like, oh, intern Grant. So I got to meet. Uh, uh, I, I right across the street, I headed over to, you know, bid them hello and right. give my you best. Met, like you met intern mom and intern dad. And well, I already know. Intern sister. I already and, know them. But oh, I met okay. the girlfriend's parents, sisters, okay. um, husband, you know, uh, brother-in-laws i was gonna say husband-in-laws like wait <laughs> that's not a thing brother-in-law like so I, the, very fun had a great time very nice yeah. uh, shout out intern grand's dad with a magic trick of a of the century of the century and he told us how he did it <laughs> genius I, I i'm still like amazed and speechless when i talk about it, it was so good shout out intern grand's dad okay um, so we had that last night. Lovely, lovely family. Had a great time uh, today. Much more playable conditions. We were both like, you know what? It's a good thing we got up and got our bodies moving this afternoon. Just mm-hmm. saying. But I, today I was I was planning. On, I'm going back to the the dunk you asked about. Yeah, we were planning on playing 36 holes today. I was going to play in the morning with John Heisey. And he's okay. like, bro, it's 22 degrees. Yeah, dude, it's, it was so cold today. And I'm like, well, so? No big deal. Oh, no way. Well, what do you mean so? I'm, I'm team Heisey on that one, man. You know how I get. Not a chance. You know, Well, I know it's a bad idea. Yeah. I'm well aware. We didn't play. So we played this afternoon, and it was, it was lovely. Um, neither of us were on our A games by any means. Took us a good, mm-hmm. like, 12 holes to warm up. Um <laughs> A side note, <laughs> there's a sign, and I, I haven't figured out the Instagram post for it yet. There's a sign that St. Andrews is starting to post on property lines where the fences are for houses into their backyards. And okay. truth be told, there'll be more tree and leaf cover in season. But sure. I'm like, you know what's happening here? The sign says... There are basically says there just says there are restrooms at these places. I'm like, you know what's happening? People are going, oh, there's a couple small bushes here. Yep, no one's yep. going to see me and going over to the fence line, hanging dong, right, <laughs> and ripping right. a piss. <laughs> Meanwhile, little Johnny's wow. like eating his breakfast, right, at the kitchen table, looking out there, you know, picture Poor window, whatever. Yeah, going, what's that guy doing? <laughs> Right. You would think living in a golf course, little giant be like, oh, yeah, they're just going to the bathroom. Another guy like rip, ripping a piss. No big right. deal. So that was hilarious. All right. That's pretty funny. Anyway, so miserable conditions. If you recall, so there's two courses at St. Andrews. Yesterday, Correct. I played the St. Andrews course, course one. It okay. goes par, pretty easy par four, another pretty easy par four, but right on Illinois route of 59. Right. So it's a little tight. Okay, fine. I get through that. I, I think I went double double to start. No big deal. Professional mm-hmm. golfer. <laughs> right. Former. I'm sorry. Former professional golfer. I gave up my de- my de- declaration of pro golf. Um, par three. Third hole. Not particularly difficult, but I came up short, hitting the new tour edges, irons. I don't know where they go. Distances. I'm I'm all off. Yeah. In the yeah. wind. Oh, by the way, we're talking 25, 30 mile an hour winds and snow. No big deal. I'm a right. I'm a trooper. And I was probably like 60, I don't know, 60 to 80 yards short, somewhere in there. Okay. <laughs> Very much a feel shot. I I and I'll I'll be this guy for, with wedges where I I mean I see people walk them off needing like shooting their gun from 30 yards going yeah it's a wedge shot just hit the ball and feel it right (laughs) like that's that's how i operate right not everybody's like that so take out the 60 degree wedge i'm like yeah just hit a good crisp wedge and just get close and tap in for par if everything goes well chris this goddamn shot 
I've seen people dunk a shot before on TV in real mm-hmm. life plenty of times. I've never seen anything like this. Just like <laughs> it's like it didn't hit the stick and go down. It's like the trajectory was so perfect. It like hit right beneath the flag and just rode the stick and made a sound like literally like thunk. Yeah. Not like clunk or whatever dunk sound you'd imagine or any, <laughs> any, there was no like rickety noise. Just thunk. right. There was no vibration to it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like if you had a cup full of water and dropped a nice round pebble into it. Yeah. It was the weirdest thing in the world. And it, it's like, I was after I hit it, I've, I can't think of many times in my golf game. I've been awestruck by anything I've done. Anything. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. And it was like, I was borderline dumbfounded by it. And at the end of the day, I was telling Grant today, we were talking about it. There's no difference than if I hit it to like 12 feet and just made a like, oh, that's a good putt. Like the score is the same. It was just the weirdest thing in the world. And it, and I started to think this was my Adele 60 degree wedge. If you yeah. recall, the first shot I ever hit with that was That's with right, you. last year. And I yeah. hold it out for birdie from a greenside position. There's yeah. something about that stupid wedge. And it's I love it. It's a good wedge, man. It's, it's a good wedge. I, to the point, I'm like, hey, what's up, Adele? Hey, look, hey, got any freshies laying around? Might need a, <laughs> might need a new 60. But I've, I, I've never hit. I've had some pretty good golf shots in my time. I've never hit a shot like it. And I, I was borderline confused. confused. Yeah. Confused. Yeah. I've never seen that in real life. I've never seen that happen. In Maybe real life. that's what it was. I was like, yeah, I've, I don't know. Just this is real life. And that actually happened. And what killed me in it. I mean, I've the odds myself- alone of that happening, it's a one in a billion. It's a hole in one type of shit. It's like a, it's, that's crazy. Well, and that, that was it's, sort it's of like, to be so perfect. You're kind of like, wait a minute. That's the kind of shit that happens with a hole in one. It was only this wedge shot for birdie. Right. <laughs> this shit. Right. What just right. happened? On a cold ass day in March where no one else is around. Yeah, I'm by like, myself. Cool. Who believes right. me? Fine. But this should be much more monumental in some way than it is. Instead, it's right. just like it's a birdie with a pretty good wedge shot. Right. Right. That. Right. You know, insert with technically probably a bad wedge shot because a little too aggressive that just happened to work out. That's also well, because if it's, no, wait, if it's wait. three inches to the left, that thing's going off the other side of the green. I think you just did shout out our guy, Pacey Witter, Joshua Jackson. I think you just did a mighty, mighty duck sing to me. Yeah, but if you miss if you miss three inches the other way, you're going to miss net altogether. Right. <laughs> Right. Shout out Gordon, I did. Gordon Mabe. I did. Shout out Gordon Mabe. I did. Yeah. Yeah. It was so bizarre. And like the insignificance of such like a weird dumbfounding moment, like it just hit me hard, hit me real yeah. hard, but it was awesome. Such a good to see that. And I mean, it really was just like, I'm just trying to like make good contact. Right. And then for it to go. <laughs> dumbfound him. All right. So anyway, that's my, I played a lot of golf this weekend, walked both rounds, feel, feel like a, I feel like a hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure. It was good. And cold and everything else. Like, ugh, but I saw your, gross. well, today was the sun. Like it was, it was chilly and it was windy, but it was, it was lovely out. Grant. Yeah. The sun was nice. The sun was nice. Grant and I today. thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. And to the point we took our jackets off and put them in our golf bags because we were wow. sweating a little. It was, it was pleasant. All right. Um, you went to the driving range though, and I got a little jealous. It was sort of like, oh, I wish we could have done this together, my my golfing friend. That's funny. I was gonna I was gonna hit you up. It was I didn't know what time it was gonna be hard to I didn't know what time I was gonna go. Yeah. Um, I was feeling very lazy. Uh it was a very much a lay around the house and do nothing kind of weekend for us. Um we're sort of kind of um, you know, we're gonna leave the country here in a couple of days. So we're sort of isolating ourselves a little bit. We don't want to get sick before we go. I was, that go- whole kind of I was thing. going to say when I saw the frigid temperatures, I was like, oh, hey, let's go to X Golf this weekend and record I, a show. And then went, but you're, I thought, yeah. yeah, I thought about it too. Like, oh, it would have been perfect this weekend to go over there and knock out a bunch of stuff. But um, anyways, but otherwise, like we just didn't want to do it. I didn't feel like doing anything. Um, Th- that's always a thing too. Like, hey, hang on. There's an element of I just don't want to. 
Right. Okay. Right. It was a long week, and I didn't, I'm not in the mood for life yeah. right now. Right. Um, but yeah, so I finally, I, so that's why I didn't, I wasn't going to like hit you up and be like, hey, I think I'm going to go and, and waste an hour at the range. And, um, but then it was like, I just, I just went, like, I'll just go because then I could put headphones in and I could just hit balls and whatever. Uh, so yeah, I went to the range today and it was great. Um, listened to a bunch of Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Doesn't matter as Foo Fighters. Um, but, uh, yeah, so um, I have every year uh, for the past, I don't know, four or five years, I've tried to decide on a single swing thought that I will have that I will carry through with me for the season. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy to announce that so I, have, deep, so deep. I have come to my 2022 swing thought. And I would invite others. Breaking news, breaking news. Uh, <laughs> I would invite others on the YouTube channel to comment with your mm. single. Th- let's challenge each other. Let's have w- not a billion swing thoughts. It's going to break your brain. Have one swing thought. One. Put it in the comments down here. Let us know what your swing thought will be this year, and we'll be we'll do this together. But here, here's my here's, qu- here's my question for you. Okay. When okay. we do that, every time we're like, "Hey, leave a comment down below," and no one does it. How many? What do you mean? No one does it. Every time we're but like, not, let us know your favorite Air Jordan. Let us know this, that. What? No one ever does it. I I'll never see, stop asking. Oh, I'll we're gonna keep asking. asking. I want to yeah. see. Based on oh, this, you're challenging. You're challenging, I'm challenging the viewers. The viewers because yeah. I think you, I think your request is a good one. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Let us uh, know. Let us know your one yeah. swing thought for 2022. Down okay. here, down here in the comments. Podcast listeners, I don't know. Go on Twitter and tell us or something. I don't know. Yeah, or yeah. At, Scotty, at Chris McEwen and at Range Heroes. Thanks. That's right. Uh, anyway, so my swing thought this year, and it's um, it's so here's my problem. This it's been my problem. I've kind of played around it um, for the most for the majority of my golfing career, golf career. Uh, my my turn in my backswing it kind of stalls out, and then I use my arms to complete the backswing. So it's a very arm, army sort of swing. Interesting, right? Okay, and it, yeah, and it causes some over the top action because uh, I'm not making the turn properly and a little bit of casting. It's a whole thing. Well, today I was very conscious of that, and I'm like, I am going to make a full turn. And my th- thought was, and I think you've, everyone's probably heard it before, or watched a YouTube video, or had a coach tell them, is to to point the head of the club at your target. In the backswing? Yeah, in your backswing. Okay. Right? Um, you know, you want to be parallel, but you want to you want to turn to get that to get the head of the club in your backswing point out. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that to save my life. Well, here's the thing though. Whether or not you do it is kind of irrelevant. That's the thought and that's the feeling that you want to have. You want to okay. feel like that's okay. what you're doing. Uh, because that will get you a fuller turn or as much of a turn as you can get, and it'll also help you know, coming back through the ball, at least for me, it was really, really making a difference. I wasn't holding like like laying back. I wasn't coming over the top. Um, not to say I didn't have, like, I kind of have a new miss now, but that's fine. It's a better miss than before. Uh, it's not a big banana slice miss. Uh, but yeah, it felt good. And I was making some good contact over and over, over again with, with any club I had. Nice. So I've decided that's going to be my swing thought, uh, in 2022 is just make, make your turn, not even make my turn, just Point the head of the club at the target in your backswing. That's going to be my I kind of feel like I wish I didn't know this though. So you know now you're gonna be looking for it. I was say, so you know how I'm like, I can't listen, I can't listen to your podcast. I can't like you're my friend. And I'm like, I just can't stop myself from saying this about it. <laughs> Same thing. I feel like now I'll be like, uh, you're not pointing your club where you think you are, and it's it's bad. It's not what you're trying oh. to do. And you're gonna right, be like, right. I don't, Bill. I don't need you to tell me. I'm like, I know you don't, and I don't want to tell you, but I have to. But <laughs> God, you can tell me. Then, like, I'll listen. Be like, shut up, man. Mind your shit. Mind your own business, Bill. Oh, oh, pot in the kettle, right there is all I gotta say. <laughs> right. But yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be my my swing thought and my mood. I like this year that. I like to that. improve my swing. Yeah, that's a good. I like yeah. that one. That's a good one. And I'm excited to see. I'm excited for this to see what happens. I'm going to live vicariously it, through you. It. Um. I got to tell you, just you know, whatever. It's an hour range session, right? It's screwing around, and it's a. It feels like it feels bizarre as any swing change. It feels very dramatic and and very kind of. It feels like I'm going. Uh, 
not just past parallel, which I may be, but I don't think I am. It also feels like I'm wrapping the the club around my head. So you're, it feels that way, wait, but I don't think that's what's happening. With your new thing, you feel like you're wrapping around your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, because the turn, I don't turn. I've never made that big of a turn. Like I don't turn. Like you know, a lot of people will turn their back to the target, right, or turn their back to the golf course. Um, I haven't been doing. I don't do that. I I kind of stall out and then I stall out again on the way down. Um, yeah, so. It feels very strange, but I can't tell the you. results, the results were, uh, I mean, consistent and, and good throughout the bag. So I'm going to take it with me and see what happens for whatever it's worth. I'm not just saying this, this <laughs> okay. conversation has made me reflect and think about this. You have a pretty good looking golf swing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I don't think, uh, I don't. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'll agree with that. I think. Thank you. Not a big uh, deal. I mean, <laughs> Hot shot. Take it easy. I mean, it's not all over the place, but uh, but you know, there's always improvements you can make, mm-hmm. and you know, ways to be more consistent. And I I know what my flaws are, um, and I'm just trying to fix those those flaws. But I, like I said, I have been. You know, you learn to play with your swing flaws, and you figure it out. Make right? it work. Which is what right. I've been doing. Yeah. It's but now, you know, you're just trying to make this one. Every year, you try to make a little change. Do you know what's interesting, yeah. what you're talking about? It's sort of cleaning up, tightening the whole thing. I, as I just said, hey, your golf swing looks pretty good and whatever. Like, man, I got to tell you, I feel like when my game and my scoring is going the best is when my golf swing looks the sloppiest, <laughs> loosest. Yeah. It's like there's something to that though. There's something to that. Well, it means like I think you're dialed in with the like for me, that means I'm dialed in with the feel and I know how to right. just like throw a golf club at a golf ball and make it do something. Right. So right. it's like if I look really, really pretty and mechanic, things probably aren't you're great. gonna be yeah, you'll <laughs> be stiff and you won't be free flow. Like I feel like well, that's also like you're a better athlete than I am. Like you're you're more like my younger brothers, like Mark and Scotty. They're this the, might be the, the nicest super, thing you've ever said to me. They're the. It's been a real love fest today between you and me. Look at but us. Uh, yeah, um, like they're natural athletes. Yeah, like they were. Like they can just. You give them a ball, they can throw it hard. You you put something in their hand, they'll hit a ball with it. Whatever. Um, so if they're like Mark, my brother Mark, that bastard plays golf twice a year, and it's at our during our trip, and he will. T- well, it's a match play, and he'll take me to the sixteenth hole every year like the dude just he just knows how to hit a golf ball like that's right. just what he does right and i play golf every weekend and he's like and he still hangs he's like it's not and scotty's the same way scotty can hit know. a ball a billion miles i like, don't know what your problem is this isn't that hard right <laughs> like, scotty he, he play probably plays just as much as mark during the year and like he used to play a lot more often but he probably only plays a couple times a year he's and too busy he, doing this making he, clocks. that's right making clocks yeah uh and he'll you know, he mashes golf balls. He's just that he's there. You guys are just those type of people. Hey, I am not one of those people. I'm a try hard guy. Oh. Always have been, always will be. I don't know. If you, I, I have to try harder than you. That's just the way. And in golf, it doesn't really work that way. People don't know this, but off the, off the mics, we call, we do call you Chrissy try hard. <laughs> it's your nickname, right? Always I needed a nickname. Might as well be Chrissy try hard. <laughs> I, I already got a shirt in mind. We're going to make it. <laughs> All right. Although I really don't enjoy Chrissy, but I'll, whatever. Oh, ne- I'll, no. For a million reasons, neither do I, but yeah. <laughs> Chrissy Tryhard has a ring to it. That's horrible. That's kind of. It's, it could oh. be Tryhard Magoo because my other, my old nickname was Magoo. It could be Tryhard Magoo, which is also fits in, you know, my glasses, my poor eyesight. So. Oh, I do like that. Now, now that, that opened a whole <laughs> new <laughs> avenue of shirt That's ideas that just... Right. Pour it into my brain immediately. Uh, All right, listen, we got a lot. Yeah. We got a lot of golf content work to do, so I feel like this is a good point to wrap episode yeah, yeah. one one million and seven, whatever this is. <laughs> um, all right, anything you want to plug for the the week of March twenty eighth or whatever we're on? No, man, I'm getting the I'm getting out of here. Got nothing to contribute to the world for a week or two. You you know what? Other than this show, I'm gonna say it. You deserve it. Get out of here. Get Thanks. out of here. Right. <laughs> If you're still looking for golf content, even though Chris is not going to be here, 
Go over to DragonRangeHeroes.com. We got some stuff for you. Let me see. Chris, what are we doing this week? I don't know. I didn't update the spread. You didn't. Yeah, it's not on the list. My my mistake. Well, it's because young Liam isn't here. He's in Wisconsin. And that's usually when I put him to bed is when I usually update update the notes. notes, And I didn't do it this week because he's not here. Anyway, we do have. Oh, you know, I want to point this out. I'm going to tell you without reading the review because I played for funsies more okay. of the Kirkland signature three piece version two golf ball. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. St. Andrews this weekend. Yeah. That ball sucks. Really? And so when everybody's it's like, bad. Oh yeah, you know, get over yourself. Blah, blah. No, the golf ball's terrible. There's yeah, a, I think uh, yeah. there's a reason it's a dollar golf ball. It sucks. If you're yeah. look, if you have to pick up, a full pack of brisket, a coffin, and <laughs> pair of shoes, a pair of shoes, some blue jeans, right. and like six gallons of whiskey in one bottle. <laughs> by all means, get the golf ball. It's a economic barrel, right? Yeah, it's economically efficient. I understand that. The ball sucks. It right. I I, I can't even. So I wrote the review. I've had them for a while now, and I've played them a good handful of times. I don't even remember what I wrote in the review that you're going to go read at DriveRangeHeroes.com. Take it from me right now, though. The golf ball sucks. Don't buy them. I'm standing behind that statement. They suck. They're terrible golf balls. Okay? (laughs) Done deal. All right. You can also go and read a review of the Air Jordan 12 golf shoe which we're going to talk about on this show at some point because two things jordan golf shoes are hot hype hype in the market yeah two the air jordan 12 is quite literally this isn't this isn't subjective it's an objective statement the best one of the best jordan golf or jordan basketball shoes shoes yeah of all time I, i agree Lots of love for your unboxing and your history lesson around that shoe. And we haven't even scratched the surface of that discussion, the history, the story of the Jordan 12. Yeah. Such a good shoe. I have, as I point to the, you know, this is what I always do when we talk shoes this way. (laughs) As you, as you point to my hat and over my shoulder there. (laughs) That's where the shoe collection is in the house. I have a, a pair of original from 1997. Jordan 12, white cherry red or white red. They weren't cherry red at that point. They just call them white yeah. red. Right. Top three probably in my prize collection of Jordan shoes. Love them. So good. Um, go read that review. Check them out. All right. All right. In the description, links will be there. Do all the things. Per use. All the things. Don't forget to go down below, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified every time one of these riveting episodes of That Range Life, a show sometimes about golf, comes up, chorus vlog, gear talk, God knows what the two of us are going to post, all right? So get on that, subscribe, do all those things. Go follow my guy, Chris, at Chris McEwen on all the social medias. Hit me up over at driving here, drivingrangeheroes.com. That was a hard one. <laughs> at Range Heroes on all the social medias. Episode a hundred and something in the books. Thank That's you for right. joining hey, us. Uh, real quick, real quick, uh, Scotty. Uh, if you're out there listening, mm-hmm. I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about your wife. Thinking about my nephews. Love you, man. Hang in there. Uh, That's all. Shout out, Scotty. Number one fan. Yeah. All right, we did it. That range life. Show us on the. I don't know what I did. That's a joke. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week.